Dear NEET students, so the big day has passed. You all must have gone through the answer key. You all must be having some rough idea about your marks. So a lot of mixed feeling must be going into your mind. So this year NEET was a bit unique in the sense that most of you were unhappy when you came out of the exam hall. But then gradually you started uh, uh, getting news from all the corners and then main, most of you have realized that no, it's the pattern due to which my marks are coming low. And you all know that it's not the marks, it's your rank which will actually matters. So this year it's very much clear that NTA was in a revenge mode. First they have removed the uh, section B, they have reduced the duration of the exam. Now you all have braced for that, you all make up your mind to handle with that situation. And then this unexpected paper in which physics was not only tricky, it included some lengthy calculation. Although bio and chemistry was moderate paper, but still it was time consuming because a lot of statement based questions match the following question, multi statement based questions were there. So it was also not easy in a sense because it was time consuming. And most of the students find it difficult to make a balance between all the three subjects and definitely time management was very uh, crucial and most of you have left many questions which otherwise you could have attempted. So these were not the scenario only with you, but it was with most of the student, especially physics in which most of the student, even those who were well prepared with the physics could hardly solve 30-35 questions. Most of the student, at least they have left 15 questions. Now, so overall, how we will see this neat exam? So definitely it was the one of the toughest paper in last 10 years. Not only toughest, it was lengthy also. So obviously when the paper is lengthy, although we were predicting this also in my earlier uh, communication with you all through this platform, I have told you that this year uh, the cutoff will be low. Because every time whenever the cutoff goes very high, it is followed by a very low cutoff. But yes, this was not expected by any of that. We all the faculties and mentors are also very surprised by the lengthiness of the paper. So all of you must have gone through several video review, expert opinion videos, right? So we all are also going through and I have personally gone through all the expert opinion. I have seen all the expert videos also, their predictions also. And based on that and based on my observation in the pattern over the year, if subject wise I do the analysis, then on an average, if a student has scored 320 plus in bio, it will be considered good. In chemistry, 125, 130 plus will be considered good. And in physics, if you have scored more than 70, well, good. So overall, if we see all these, so these are the average marks which students have got in the paper. So overall, if we see on that basis, so if a student have got 520 plus, then they can consider themselves comfortable. They can easily get a government medical college as per the difficulty of the paper. So coming to this big question that what will be the cutoff? So cutoff will be in between 520 to 550 in all India quota. Now in the state quota if we see, so definitely in the state quota the marks will reduce. Right? At least 10% variation on downside is always there. So if we consider the statewide quota, then if your marks is near 500, still you are in a safe zone. Now, if you are in southern state like Telangana, Andhra, Tamil Nadu, then the chances will be even better. There, even if your marks is less than 500, there is a chance that you will get a government medical college. Of course, in northern states like Bihar, UP, the cut, Delhi, the cutoff is comparatively high. So, in these northern states, the cutoff will be maybe near 500 or between 500 to 520. So, this is the overall scenario. Then another question which come into your mind is rank prediction. How much rank I might get? Now this is again a very tricky question and it's kind of a speculative, right? But if we see, go through the pattern and marks scored in last 7 to 8 year, then and the difficulty of the paper, then if the, we do this prediction and it's not an easy prediction to do, but still, if we start with a topper, so definitely any 720 this year, definitely. 700 is also very unlikely. If we consider the difficulty of paper and if we even consider if a student is well prepared, everything is going in favor of student in all the subjects. Still, in my opinion, 680 plus minus 10 will be the rank 1 score. So, if anyone is getting 
near 680, there is a high possibility that student will get in Delhi. This year, one more pattern can get repeated, which earlier used to be that rank 1, rank 2 is having certain marks and then there is a big gap. So, this time you will see that gap because if paper is tough, then the gap in, especially in the top rank, especially in the top rank, especially in 1 to 20 rank, there is always a gap. So, if a student is getting 660 plus minus 10, student can expect under 100 rank. 640 plus minus 10 can expect 500 under 500 rank. If the marks is 590 or more, then you can expect that your rank will be under 5000. If you are scoring 570 or more, then there is a possibility that your rank will be under 10,000. And 540 plus can expect a rank under 20,000. And overall, as I said, the cutoff may somewhere go near 520 or somewhere in that range, the cutoff will be. So, in the end, I would like to say that, remember, this is just one exam. You give it your best. And the effort is something which no score can measure. Now it is the time to breathe, rest, spend some time with your family and recharge. The coming month will bring clarity, opportunity and new goals. But for now, be kind to yourself and enjoy. You have earned it. You are stronger than you think and the journey doesn't end here. So with pride, hope and unwavering belief in your future, I would like to say, all the best to all of you. Enjoy.